Hi, I'm Phil Monko's Realtor in Houston. Today I'm going over the Richmond, Texas real estate market. This is for the second quarter um, of 2023. I also did the other major cities of Fort Bend County as well as Pearland, so you can check those ones out too, but this is just focusing on Richmond. Um, okay, home sold, this is resale. You can see 697, that's a high number back in the second quarter of 2022. Interest rates, I think they're always starting to go up a little bit, but everyone know, knew they were about to go up a lot more. Um, so everyone was trying to lock in a house at that time. And then between the second quarter of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023, uh, you can see the big, big drop. Um, interest rates had, you know, they made it up to close to about the 7% range in here. Um, but now we've come back just between the first quarter and the second quarter. We're getting pretty close to this number here. Um, yeah, people just need to, couldn't hold off moving. I guess people were like waiting for interest rates to drop, but it's just not happening. Um, prices are not going down either. Let me show you prices. Well, they do look like it from here, but let me get to the price per square foot next. Um, but yeah, it looks like a sizable drop from here to here. But if you look at price per square foot, they're about the same. Um, so like just bigger homes are being sold back in this point compared to this point. Uh, yeah, so that's just for the resale. Let me show you the months of inventory. Okay, so months of inventory is seen as a good indicator of the strength of the market. So anything above six months is considered a buyer's market. Below six is a seller's market. So um, this is all the way back to 2018. It's been a, a seller's market, but not that strong of one um, until COVID when months of inventory dropped from a peak of over five down to under a month of inventory. Um, and then this is kind of mimics where the interest rates started climbing up. And then um, once people kind of got past that, now the months of inventory started to drop lower. Not many people listing their homes because they don't want to lose their 3% mortgage, but there's still a pretty strong amount of buyers, still a lot of people moving to the area. Um, so yeah, now the months of inventory dropped back down, not quite where it was, still a very, very strong market. So let me just show you new homes now. Okay, for new homes, you can see it's uh, there was a peak here, but it's pretty consistent. Uh, not a big change uh, year over year or quarter over quarter. As for pricing, um, pricing has went up a lot. Uh, I'm not positive I could look into that deeper, but maybe something to do with like veranda closing up and um, you know remaining homes left tend to be more expensive when there's not many opportunities left. Something along those lines. Um, but yeah, this is like the opposite of Katie. If you want to check out the Katie video, but prices have went up. Um, and on the price per square foot, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. But on the price per square foot uh, side of things, it actually went down substantially. So um, yeah, I guess builders are just uh, building bigger homes, which again is opposite of what I saw in Katie. But builders are just building bigger homes so the price was going up but the price per square foot is going down sharply so yeah just cheaper neighbor cheaper neighborhoods maybe more builds in those communities um and yeah they're building bigger homes again opposite of katie so yeah interesting contrast there um thanks for watching if i can answer any questions please reach out appreciate any feedback thank you